Hello Fermion friends. Today we're going to talk about NoOps databases. So what is a NoOps database? Simply speaking, it's a database where you as the developer don't have to manage any of the operational aspects. So probably the easiest way to dive into this problem is to talk about how we've been doing things for quite a while now, many, many years. Imagine you're setting up your local development environment for the first time. The first thing, and you know you're going to need, you know, kind of that full stack array of tools, including a database. So one of the first things you have to do is you have to go find yourself a database and install it, possibly with a package manager, possibly from source, however you do those things. You're the one who's doing the installation, followed by, you know, starting it up, creating some new accounts, setting up some permissions. At some point, you're going to come out of that process with the credentials and a connection string. At that point, you go back and start developing your application and you inject at some point via environment variables, maybe vault or some kind of configuration management system, your username, your password, your connection string. And then in your application code, you manage the connection between your application and the database. Now it comes time to deploy your application to production. The first thing you have to do is, let's say you're in a cloud environment, right? You, you have to go out there and find a cloud provider who's got a database that matches your local development environment, and you stand that up, which means provisioning a new database, uh, you know, maybe signing up for service, all of that kind of thing. And again, at some point, you'll go through the process of setting up the credentials and setting up a connection string and maybe some TLS certificates and things at this point. And You'll go back over to your application code and once more figure out a way to inject that data in there, ideally in a much more secure way than you're doing it when you're in your local environment. So now you're managing two different databases. You've got the one local, you've got the one remote. And it's up to you to make sure that they stay in sync. So you're doing your database upgrades, you're doing the, the uh, maintenance of the databases, the backups and the restores, and all of that work is part of your job now. So we looked at this and went, ah, you know, as a developer, it does not bring me joy to do this database part of things, right? I want a system that can just manage all of that for me because I just want to focus on writing my code. So we at Fermion said, could we do that, right? Is there a way to build that? And it turns out that because of the way WebAssembly works with its host runtime environment, it's not very hard to do for us. So we took spin and we said spin should encapsulate both the application runtime and the database runtime. So in this case, spin automatically provisions the database for you in process. You don't even have to manage another process. It's actually a SQLite database. And you don't have to manage any credentials because spin has a layer that's attached to the database and the application, and it's doing all the management of that connection on your behalf. You never see a username, password, connection, string, or SSL certificate when you're doing this whole, whole development process in, in your local environment. Now it comes time to deploy your application into production. And we said, well, we'd really like to have that same experience inside of production. So let's talk about Fermion Cloud. We've recently rolled out in Fermion Cloud support for a database as a service that works in this kind of no op style. Once more, we've got the host runtime here, the WebAssembly execution context, and we've got the database environment, though in this case, it's not an embedded database, right? This is a database running somewhere in Fermion Cloud that happens to be compatible with the one local. So the one local is SQLite. The one running inside of Fermion Cloud is Chisel Strikes Terso distributed database but they look the same to you as the developer and you don't have to do any of the management because once more, we provision the database for you. We connect the database to the application for you. All you have to do in your code is, you know, open the database and start writing your SQL. Now, once more, all the management and administration of these databases happens in Fermion Cloud by Fermion, and there's one more task that you don't have to do. So when we talk about no ops databases, what we're talking about is taking the operational considerations that you would normally have to do on your own and saying, you know what, that's just background. We can do that for you and free you up once more to write the code, which is what we all really care about at the end of the day. With that, I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Fermion Cloud's NoOps database is in private beta. If you're interested in signing up, head over to fermion.com and get on the list. If you're just interested in local development, you can head on over, download the latest spin, that's spin 1.4 or later. Developer.fermion.com has got you covered with installation docs, database documentation, and all the stuff you need to build a new application.